Hello Taurus, this is your April 2019 reading. Remember, it will not resonate with all Taurus individuals, but um, I wanted to get this out for you, for Taurus. April 2019 is General Energies coming in for Taurus in April. I'm looking for a positive reading. And if something comes up that's not so positive, we'll work it out. We'll think of a remedy, hopefully. But we'll see what's going on. See what the incoming energy is. Oops, that wants to come out. I'm going to let it in a minute. If it's meant to be, it'll come out. Hmm. Six of Pentacles. No give and take in a situation. Maybe you don't want to work with somebody or someone doesn't want to work with you. Usually with the pentacles is material things or things that are uh, you think bring stability in your life. We'll see what the, what's going on. Five of Pentacles. You felt a little abandoned. You're feeling this way. You also may feel that you don't have enough money, some of you. <clears throat> you feel like things that you may be left out in the cold. You feel like like there's there's just not enough finances or stability in your life and you're you're having trouble obtaining it for some reason. It's crossing you. Someone's not collaborating or working with you with the three of pentacles. Or you may not be collaborating with somebody else. But so, and it could be that somebody else is feeling abandoned by you too, you know? You can go both ways. <clears throat> Your goal or what crowns you, someone's not working on a situation. Um, maybe someone quit a job, maybe someone quit a relationship, but it usually has to do, like I said, with material things and stability. Someone just doesn't want to work on it anymore. Two of Wands, someone needs to make a choice and a decision in a way kind of quickly. With the wands energy, you got two choices, and you're going to find out one is better than the other. But you feel like too obligated to let the other one go, so you're you're contemplating on what to do. In the past, I got a lot of three of wands. You felt like something didn't come in that was supposed to, because it's in reverse. You're feeling like <clears throat> things just didn't pan out, or things that were promised to you didn't come in. Or you may have cut something off that someone wanted to give you and you were like, I don't want this. You know? Now I'm going to clarify all these. This is a full Celtic cross I'm doing. And in the near future, someone's going to feel like an injustice was done. Whether you do something to somebody that's an injustice or they do it to, to you. I'm going to find out what it is and what we can do about it. Advice from the universe. Possible future outcome is to make an offer possibly. Or you may be missing an offer that's possibly good for you. So keep your eyes open as something may come your way in April that you may not think is a good thing. But it's going to be possibly a good thing, but you're not going to think so. Outside influences or what's going around you. Some people say what's coming towards you. In a way it is. You feel like you didn't get wish fulfillment from the outside in. You did not feel like... Whatever occurred in your life, you did not get what you were wanting. Hopes and fears, you, you fear sneaky behavior. You, feel, you fear thievery. Pull this up a little. You feel like someone may take advantage of a situation. Outcome, you feel disappointed with the Five of Cups. Now, let me clarify these because we're going to see what you can do about it. Because for a lot of you, this is going to happen. I'm going to show you how to take a detour in this path. I do it all the time. But the Five of Cups is in the end result. What you need to know about the Five of Cups, you're just looking at the negatives. And there are positives there. You just don't see them. I think you're just too distraught. You're just too upset. And you feel you got low low motivation. You feel really down. Now, I'm going to find out what this abandonment issues or feeling left out issues, whatever, with the Three of Pentacles starting out. Why are you there? Why are you there for Taurus? Want, wanting to come unchained, doesn't want to be stuck with a situation. 
feel like they sometimes they feel like they can't get out of a chain situation with the devil in reverse. Can I get another card for the five of pentacles, three of pentacles, and the devil that's in reverse? King of Cups can have to do with the King of Cups energy. It could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or just someone that is, uh, I, want, I hate to use the word emotional, because they're not always emotional 100% all the time. They can, can control their emotions, but they could be loving at times. Maybe you're wanting this person. Maybe they, they, they're, they're, not, they're not paying attention to you, um, because they're looking outside. They're looking this way, and they're not looking within. So this person you may care for, or maybe this person cares for you, but you just, I don't know, don't see it. Because I do see some blockages here. Now, as the goal, you got the Eight of Pentacles. It is, it is in reverse. And the Eight of Pentacles was in, in reverse means someone's not working on a situation. The goal is just not to work on it anymore. Whether you're not working on something or someone around you is not working on something anymore. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Why are you there for Taurus? Mm, because there was an argument. Someone stopped working on something because there was a pretty big fight. Ferocious one. Five of Swords is someone who is, when they fight, it, it, it hurts. It wounds. Five of Swords. Or eight of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Swords in the upright. Why are you there for Taurus? Ships because something didn't come in, apparently. You're waiting for something to come in that didn't, and it started a fight. Now, you got the Two of Wands as the foundation. There is a decision you can make. And one is a little bit better than the other, but you're still having a hard time letting the other go. So Two of Wands in the upright as the foundation. Why are you there? Hmm. That's the eight of wands in reverse. It's like you're not you're not you're not taking a step forward to making a decision that needs to be made. And it may actually help you in the long run. You could probably detour about right here. Let's see. I'll find out for sure when I clarify all the others. Two of wands in the upright, eight of wands in reverse. Why are you there? You're just not making a yeah, you know, you're not making a decision. Could have to do with the fire sign. Queen of Wands is in reverse. Someone who's kind of, I don't know, short-tempered sometimes. Or, you know, when the Queen of Wands is in reverse, she could uh, be kind of spiteful, too. A lot of people don't like to hear that, but it's the truth. When she's angry, she can get this way, and any sign can get this way. Anybody can, at any time in life. But the Queen of Wands is a Leo. Aries, Sagittarius a lot of times. Or like I said, someone just a passionate energy. Someone who uh, whose personality is catching, you know. But you're not making a decision, or maybe they're not making a decision. But I'm feeling that you need to make a, a really, you need to move forward in something. Or something is going to, you're going to feel like, you know, you got messed over. Now, in the uh, past, you had the Three of Wands in reverse. Something did not come in the way you wanted it to. The positive things did not come in the way it was promised. Three of Wands in reverse. Why are you there for Taurus? <sighs> Got a few people here. King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, someone didn't deliver. Someone that had maybe finances or said they had something for you. Kind of like, ah, wasn't exactly the truth possibly. Or they just... Or it could have been that something came up and, and, and things got messed up for them too. But the king of, I mean, king of Pentacles is what it is. And the King of Pentacles in reverse can be a, could be you, you know, as a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. But maybe you're in reverse because you're feeling like, I can't believe this, you know. And it kind of left you kind of, you know, you know, wanting. So something happened with finances that puts you in reverse. Maybe this is, could be, like I said, another person. They said they had it, and then it didn't It didn't pan out, whether on purpose or not on purpose. Sometimes things happen where people lose something in their lives, and they can't um, finish a project. Now, in the near future, you're going to feel like an injustice is done to you. Let's find out why. The injustice, the justice card in reverse, why are you there for Taurus? 
Queen of Pentacles. You feel like somebody may uh, take away your stability because the Queen of Pentacles is in the upright, as you know. It could be you, Taurus, another Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorns. This one's to pop out. Yeah, you didn't get something that was offered to you, something that you deserved big time. Now, you got something else coming in that's being offered, or maybe it's just, maybe it's part of it, but I think it's something else with the uh, Four of Cups. And the universe, this is the advice card or possible future outcome. Someone's going to make you an offer. So Four of Cups in the upright. Why are you there? Yeah, work. Someone's going to offer you some work. Eight of Pentacles. Four of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Why are you there? Yeah, you're going to feel like it's not what you're wanting, that it's trapping you, but it's not. It's hard work, and it's going to take some dedication. You may feel like it's binding you, but I don't think so. I think it's going to be something you're not seeing clearly. What is being offered to you, I think, is going to be a positive offer, even though you don't see it that way with the Eight of Swords. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, sum all this up because I see something coming about in the outside environment. You got the Nine of Cups. It's in reverse. You didn't get your wish fulfillment and whatever. And we already know that. But I want to see if we give us more information on that. Nine of Cups in reverse. Why are you there for Taurus? Yeah, someone didn't uh, abide by their end of the bargain. That is the Six of Pentacles. Can I get another card? Four, whoops, excuse me. Uh, Nine of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, both in reverse as the outside environment. Yes, yeah, somebody didn't get on top of things and they let something slide by. Kind of messed you over and you feel like you've been in justice. Someone kind of, you know, in a way kind of robbed you because your hopes and fears is somebody robbed you or somebody will. With the Seven of Swords, that's more or less somebody getting walked by with something. Seven of Swords, why are you there? For Taurus. As the hopes and fears. Doesn't have to be a reality, remember that. Broken contracts, hair font in reverse. Yeah, someone someone didn't come through. I mean, I'm sorry about that. But you got something else coming in that you don't think is good, that is possibly a good situation. It may be hard work, but it's it's lucrative possibly. <clears throat> Let me find out more. Seven of Swords in the upright. The Hierophant in reverse. Why are you there? Another thing with the Hierophant, it could have to do with marriage partners and money too. Yeah, there's justice. You're wanting justice in this situation in the upright. And it's very important. Some of you may be going to court over this too. You may feel like you really got messed over on a decision. I think an offer is going to be made to you. And you don't think it's a good offer. But in the long run, it very well may be. You got to look at those positive cups. Don't think everything is negative, even though it looks that way. So, Five of Cups as the outcome. Why are you there for Taurus? There's that Two of Wands again because you're not making a decision. Okay, now we know how to fix this. Five of Cups in the upright. Two of Wands in reverse. Why are you there? So you can gain a victory. Okay. Yeah, you need to go forward with the Knight of Swords. You need to charge forward. Let the stuff go. Things that you can't change. But there's a decision. Someone's going to make you an offer. Someone's going to make you an offer. And you're indecisive for some reason. It's like you don't trust this offer. You may turn it down and you may miss an opportunity. But the universe is giving you something else. That's what it does. And unfortunately, um, with Uranus going in through your sign, things are going to happen like this on and off for quite a while. And I mean, life is not going to be boring for Taurus. In love, finances, you get it. Sometimes you get windfalls. Other times things get chaotic, but it's not boring. So if someone's going to offer you something. You're going to think it's not a good thing. It's about work with the Eight of Pentacles, but you're not seeing it as a good offer to you. You're going to feel like it's going to trap you. But the universe is saying it's, it's an offer that you could possibly choose on this situation that is more than what you think it is. You are not seeing things clearly with the eight of uh, swords. you got the blindfold on. Like I said, you didn't get wish fulfillment. Someone backed out of a situation. They didn't come through like they promised. And they didn't get on top of things. You, in the past, felt like an injustice was done. You are the Queen of Pentacles in the near future, in the upright. You're going to start getting on your crown again, even though you were off-centered just a little bit there because of what happened. You weren't expecting this. An argument did occur. 
over this, you know, finances or whatever you were hoping that was going to come in. In the end, now this is important. In the end, I see you crying over the things of the past that you lost and not looking at these two cups. You see them? They're full. They're waiting for you to take and drink from. But you're still not making a decision, and that's how you fix this. Make the decision to go with a different path. This path that's being offered to you. A new opportunity. If you do, you'll gain a victory. So it's up to you. Remember I said what I said, you can change your path. You can go with this and be upset and just look at the spilt cups. Or you can take another offer that's coming to you, even though it's not what was promised to you like it was. You feel like it's, it's, it's not, you know, everything you want in life. And then someone's offering you something else and you're like, Ugh, I don't know if I want this. It's not a bad deal. You got to look at those two full cups and you will gain a victory from this. Charge forward. Do as you're told. Get that four cups. There it is again. Take what's offered. Don't, don't sit on the tree and put your head down and not look at what's offered to you because it's coming. And probably quickly. So you can come out of abandonment with the five of pentacles in reverse. That is your reading. It's a good reading. I'm telling you how to get out of these uh, hardships. It's saying someone's going to deal with a hardship and think everything is lost and gone and hopeless. But it's not. You got another offer coming. Please consider it in April, okay? April and on. Because this thing could be going on for a while with the Eight of Pentacles. Good things, okay? And I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye.